Welcome back, everybody. We are playing Golden Sun, the Lost Stage. I'm Avian, and we're getting ready to travel to Asinia. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, we heard about you already. If you're going to Asinia, you better get moving. Ahavra is up along the northern east of Asinia. You'll see it eventually. Okay, so... You try heading straight through us and into Al Hafra. Al, Al, Al Hafra? Yeah. You'll hit the Yampi Desert. You'd better off avoiding the desert and just following the coast to Al Hafra instead. Head to southeast of Sinia and you'll hit Mikasala. It's a small village, though. Probably not much interest to you there. Well, um, at some point, I think we're probably going to go ahead and explore the whole thing. Uh, there's something I was looking for. Okay. I, I took a moment, and I went through and made my list of gin to make sure we found, to make sure I didn't miss one. And I do have one that's somewhere near Mikasala, um, so we will definitely be headed there. Also, because I want to explore the whole game. All right, so we want to follow the coast, he said. Oh, so we gotta go across here. This is our little land bridge. A sandy and a cliffs. Just trying to get, no, I wanna go down the vines. I want to go down the vines. Okay, nothing down the vines. This is a chompa boat. You can see their mark on the flag there. They must have been run aground here by the tidal wave. Oh, I'm stopped by the post. Okay. She's got lash. There we go. Was that really... Oh. Yes, that was worth it. Okay, I wasn't sure. Ooh, pirate sword. Pirates are always good. Is that better than my axe? Yes. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. and we'll re-equip the axe, give Jenna the pirate sword because she can equip it, and that way we both have cool weapons. No, no, no. Equip. There we go. There we go. all the damage the wave must have been gigantic i wonder how many champa died in the wreck wait if this is the champa ship then that must mean pierce isn't a champa so why does the elder still need Briggs to clear his name because not everybody is reasonable like you are dude do, 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 do. sorry having a hard time not singing i know i don't have the best voice but i hope you'll forgive my enthusiasm This thing is cute, why? Oh, I wish it wasn't a monster. Okay, can't go there. Do, 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 do. All right. Level up, level up. Do, do. All right, so this must be the desert. Yep, the empty desert. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, so I know there is a gem in the desert, so we're going to keep an eye out for it. I like that. I like that. All right, well, we got pound. What's that do? What's that do? All right, who's got the lowest HP? One twenty one. Oh, wrong character. Ninety three, ninety two. Okay, we're going to give that to Shiva. Yep. Anything else? Nope, nothing else down here. people's here. Oh, the desert is so hot out here. I feel dizzy. Water, my throat is so parched. <gasps> it's no use. Okay, these must be the delegation to find out if Briggs um, was working with Piers. If that accursed some pirate Briggs hadn't smashed the bridge, we wouldn't be here. Maybe we won't find him, but I promise you Piers will pay the price for him. Oh, you're being very unreasonable right now, mister. We followed the pirates here from Madra. Are you going to El Hafra too? I don't think you can get through the desert. You probably should have crossed the bridge you passed on the way here. Dude, the bridge was gone. Can we just forget about Briggs? No, I'm not about to quit looking for him. There must be some way through this desert. We must press onwards. As you can see, the Elder is quite insistent on finding a way through. He feels the only way to Ahafra is through this desert. This is where my son must prove himself as mayor. So, son, how are you planning to get us through the desert and to on to Ahafra? Oh, poor kid, that is such a... That is a test. Father, how am I supposed to get us through this desert? I think you're overestimating my abilities. Okay, oh, there's water over there. Do, 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 do. What's down here? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay. Oh, there's a gem. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can we get up there? This is what we did last time. I saw a gin and I had to figure out how to get it. We're about to do that again. Just, we're in the desert. Okay, there's no way up. So we got to be able to hop around on these. Oh, are those stairs? Yes! Not stairs, but handled just as good.
to see that's different than what I expected. Do we have that trainer card equipped? Yep, we got the trainer card equipped. You know what? Let's roll with it. I didn't mean to do that, but let's roll with it. That is cool. Across there. Okay, so I smashed the wrong thing. So we want to, well, after fighting this guy. I did see a chest, okay. That is always good. And it's this one. chase you around or anything. I just came and found you. Ouch. Okay, I'm glad I told Felix to use Cure. So now we gotta find a way out of the desert. There's not a way down. I thought I saw a way down somewhere else. Okay, come here. We gotta go exploring some more.
do? Okay, so we got a way down here. Let's see if there's anything down here. Yes. Really, the time I have you. So we could go up there. I want to see what's on this side first. We got our second level air summon. Okay, that's just way down, so we don't want to go. Ooh, ooh, this could be something interesting. about that, but okay. Okay, that trapped him. So let's try to head. Reset. doing. There we go. We're gonna have to fight this damn thing. Okay, so we want it to go here. Nope, we've trapped it again. Okay. I don't know what this is. Well, I mean, we know it's a scorpion, but I'm not sure how to... Oh, it just happens. Okay. Oh, now I'm mad at us. Fair. It is fair. We've chased it out of several sandy little cozy spots. Now it's mad. Now it's mad. I would be mad too.
trying to be smart about this. Okay, I'm gonna need to do some healing. Oh, I did not give, oh, I gave her the nurse's cap. There we go. Nice. This one is actually stressing me out a little bit because I'm not sure I'm high enough level to manage it. Try that. Oh, no effect. Okay. Oh, okay. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> All right, and Scoop is also um, Scoop is also an Earth-based, so. I'm to go ahead and equip that to Felix. Okay, water is good. This must be the thing's den. Look at all these bones. Anyway. Alright, so we have water there. Next question is, where do we go now? Alright, so our way out must be something we have to use scoop on back at the beginning. why this was over here. I do think the spiders are kind of cute in this game. I, I don't like spiders, generally speaking, um, but the way they did them in this game, I think they're actually kind of a little bit cute, not scary. here. This looks like a scoop. Ooh, 
we reached the hot springs. Or the spring spring. It's not a hot spring. Drink fresh water spring. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Go up here. Oh, there's our people. Hello! Hey, look up there! How'd those guys get up there? Maybe there's a path up ahead that we missed. Maybe, maybe we can get through the desert after all. We can find the way through to El Hafra. I don't care where we go as long as it's cool. Hey, I found it! I found the way through! Hey, hey, you're welcome. They got through. Okay. I'm not going to worry about them. I'll let them rest there. Ooh. Scoop spot. I'm guessing there's going to be a couple of those and no guarantee of finding anything in any of them. One of these should have something in it, just because that's the way it works, right? Yep, there we go. Coins. Coins are good. Oh, fun. Okay. It's called Dream Tide. It's like a fun fantasy weapon name. Okay, we're gonna have to go in from the other way. Okay, apparently I'm not doing this right. There we go. There we go. Missed it. Okay. There we go. Everybody has a fancy, fancy weapon. Oh, while I'm here, let's go ahead. Use defense. Use on, let's see, defense 68, 45. Use on Jenna. We had a mint. There's boost agility. Use on 49. Use on Felix. I have this thing where I just give it to whoever ha currently has the lowest of that thing. Right. 
Oh, I bet that whole party of people is gonna have fun in the sand cave. Okay. Apparently, can't get up there right now. That looks like it's a reveal thing. Okay. go see what that rope does as soon as we finish this. There we go. Oh, that's right. Shiva has it. Something up here. Okay then, I thought for sure there was something up there. doing that's what I'm doing There we are. So I have to know. North, Alhafra, South, Ayers Rock. Warning, beyond this point, there's no route back. Well, we know we want to go to Alhafra, so we'll go south later. We're out of the desert. Now we're up by Madra. Oh, not Madra. Um, 
Ahavra. I'm getting all my town names mixed up now. Alright, so let's see what all everybody has to say here. Welcome to Ahavra. This is the largest town in Western Messina. You can find anything you need here, unless you need a boat, that is. Cool. Right after my boat got crushed, a group of men came by and asked if I have one for sale. They were pretty swarthy, like they might have been sailors or something. I heard the tidal wave knocked Enter into Ossian, is that true? Really, it's just so hard to believe, you know? Still, that would explain the massive jolt we found right after the tidal wave hit. Let's see what's in this house. This looks like the temple. Yep, this is the temple. He usually has useful information. In the middle of Ossiana, there's a terrible village where they worship a foul and vengeful god. Oof. I thought you are supposed to be non-judgmental, you're a priest. Finally, we made it. Oh, there's our buddies. Well, we're here. Where's the elder? He's coming now. Oh, are we here? I feel like I just walked 500 miles. I'm fine. I feel like I could walk. 500 more. So, this is Alhevra. Madra is a pretty big place, but this town is huge. You didn't come to Alhevra to shop, Mr. Mayor. We're here to bring Briggs. It's Champa. Bring a Briggs to Champa. Sorry, guys. I know that. Then we should speak straight with, with the Hutfors mayor. We're in no shape to go present ourselves to the mayor right now. Look, Briggs is obviously not here. Besides, we already know Pierce is. Silence! It seems Hutfra has felt the effects of the tidal wave as well. Looks like they suffered a good deal of damage. That would explain why Huffer doesn't seem to have any boats for sale either. You know, just looking around, I get the impression they only have one boat to begin with. So if you really needed a boat, the only way to get one would be to steal it. Hmm. But wouldn't that cause quite an uproar? Which means some pirates must still be here trying to get a boat. So you think we've actually caught up with Briggs? No doubt about it. That's why I want to meet the mayor of a helper before the Chumpas steal a ship. Oh yeah, I get it now. In that case, let's go see Offer's mayor right away. Ooh. Um, say excuse me. Where would we find the mayor of Alhavra? The mayor? Almost looks like a conga line. <laughs> Just keep going down this road. It's the last house. You can't miss it. Thank you. I'm not there. All right. So, oh, I was going to go see what this guy was up to. Oh. Mind read. Oh, this ain't good. This guy looked like the mayor of Madra. Must have come here looking for Briggs. I better tell the others. Ah! What's your problem? What are you, some kind of freak? Well, what? You got a problem with me? Nope. I'm just gonna see if I can't follow you. So where do you get off invading my personal space house? Scram! I was just trying to talk to you. You're the one that panicked. Or was I? Oh yeah, I was about to tell them about the mayor of Madra. Okay, where did you go? here? Oh. Everything's so boring here. Why doesn't anybody do anything criminal? Oh, sheriff is bored. I'd much rather the sheriff be bored than overly busy. Those men didn't look like they were from Ossenia. I wonder what business they have in Alhavra. It's a temple. This looks like a shop. 
mention the tidal wave to the other merchants. I did a lot of damage, and I'd really rather just not talk about it, you know? Right after my boat got crushed, a group of men came by asking- Oh, we talked to this kid yet. Just can't believe it's saying it could cause an entire continent to move like that. But I used to be able to see Indra to the north of us, and it's definitely not there. Oh. Let's see. We're taking care of some people whose house was destroyed by the tidal wave. But they're so demanding, my wife feels so overwhelmed that she can't take it anymore. Oh, with all these demanding house guests, I feel like I've lost control of my own home. Aren't you thirsty, my dear? Oh, you're right, dear, I am. Sorry to bother you, but we'd like some tea. Are you talking to me? If you want tea, you can go right ahead and fix it yourself. When we lost our house on the tidal wave, the master of this house offered his home to us. But living with another family isn't easy. They're absolutely exhausting. Okay, there's... I'm wondering... Let's do some my reading and see who is actually... Is this how a young bride treats her husband these days? Back in my day, we were never like that. All I ask for is a little tea, and that's the behavior I get. I just want to get out of this inhospitable house and back to my own sweet home. I don't mind helping people in need, but I won't be taken advantage of. I just wish the old man would stop pestering my wife all the time. Oh, it's him! It's not the woman, it's... Okay. So she thinks the younger woman... That's a complicated situation right there. They should just sit down and talk it out. These guys who brought the boat looked kind of shabby, but I hear they paid the mayor a whole lot of cash for it. Somebody bought the boat. I don't care if it was broken, the mayor shouldn't have up and sold the town's only boat. Back here, yep. Tidal wave may well wash out both my business and the weapon shopkeepers. We were hit by the wave so strong that it swept homes off their foundations. What's worse is all my best wash weapons were washed out to sea. Oh no. Yeah, that's a problem. Armor. Circle. Okay, so we've got all that. Um, let's keep going. Let's see what's around here. Our port was rained by the tidal waves, so kids aren't allowed there anymore. And all I want to do is just see what kind of wind is blowing in off the sea. Oh. All right, let's go talk to the mayor. Maybe. Those people that just came through look totally exhausted. You don't suppose they passed through Yampi Desert to get here, do you? Oh, yep. It's the only way through. Alright, something over here. No one's let me on this point. Don't even think about it. Okay. Oh, guards. Listen, you look like an okay guy, and I'd love to let you through, but I just can't. I mean, if I let you in, then I have to let everybody in, right? I'm sorry, but I want to be fair. I like your logic. Do you want to see the mayor? Yes, please. Sorry, but he's meeting with some visitors from Madra right now. Maybe you can see him once he's finished with them. All right, we'll have to come back. Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty view. Okay. All right, we can go explore the port. Let me guess, you're here because you want to buy a canoe, right? Nope, not a canoe. That's good, because i got a ton of work to do already. And then I have to head down to the wharf and help clean with the, the wreck. You had a lot of strangers coming here lately. The boat in the wharf uses a sail, so it's more efficient than any galley. But since the mast is broken, it's not going anywhere. What a waste. Why would the mayor go and sell our boat to a bunch of foreigners? 
I know it's got a broken mast, but come on. The only boat spared by the tidal wave is the newfangled ship that catches the wind and the sail. The thing is, the mast that holds the sail got snapped apart. Oh, okay, so that's gonna be over here. some wreckage. Do, 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 do. It's, it's no use. The mass just won't budge no matter how many people we get to help us. We're going to have to get all this junk off the mass first. If we could just get some decent footing, we could have this thing clear in no time. There's more to it than that, though. We still have to do something about that rope over there. Tailing it will be a piece of cake once we get the boat we can use. Oh yeah, a piece of cake, except for the huge rock over there. Oh yeah, the rock. How are we supposed to get the mast out from under that thing? It's huge! There's no way we're gonna move it by ourselves. Well, either way, we can't do anything until Zack finishes the canoe. All right. Well, we could probably help, but I don't know that we want to help. What's your problem? You're not. You're new in town, aren't you? You're probably curious about the ship here, huh? Yep. They call this a sailing ship. One is the only thing that'll make it move. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Well, think how surprised we were to find that all half had learned to build sailing ships. I suppose the age when anyone can sail the seas was bound to come someday. Can I talk to you? Yep. We sent my pal into town to get some supplies, but he came back lucky pale. He went straight down to talk to Briggs, and I haven't seen him since. Oh, so Briggs is here. Okay. Well, let's do some healing. Go down and talk to Briggs. All right. Okay. Let me have Madra here. You're certain. How do he knew we came to Alhafra? He knew we needed a ship, and he knew we went east. Seems pretty easy to me. Uh, well, yeah, when we put it that way, it does make sense. He was looking to find the mayor of Alhafra. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. He'll probably tell the Alhafrans are pirates, too, huh? Pirates, it seems a little unfair. What do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that didn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. Ah. Uh, and even then, it's never a lot. Uh, what's not? The stuff we take. We never take too much from anyone town. Yeah, I guess not. And why do you think that is? Er, uh, Why? Because you never can tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? And yeah, which is why we didn't steal anything from Ahafra. Right. That way, why we avoid the risky towns and just take what we need from the others. See, the way you're our Captain Brig, you, you got a brain coming out of your ears. Huh, <laughs> there's nothing brainy about that. Jenna. Did you hear that? It sounds like a girl who's out there. you think you're doing? Don't you know that somebody has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? Er, what's your point? You have to come with us and attest that man's innocence. And why would I do something like that? Oh, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave us no choice. We'll bring you in against your will if we must, but either way, you're coming with us. Isn't that right, Felix? Yep. At least in the mayor's house. Good for you. Let's teach these guys a lesson. You don't stand a chance for hurting criminal types, we punks like you for 
breakfast. Watch yourselves, you self-righteous little brats. You're the ones with the lesson to learn. Ooh, battle time. Battle time. All right. Boost the defense first. Save breath. Oh. I'm gonna focus on Briggs and hope if I can knock him out um, that that'll end the battle faster. Cause I think if I remember correctly um, that the pirates just summon more pirates constantly. Um. Yep, there he goes. comes another one. Bump our defense up again. Ah, herbs. Ouch. Okay. Again. Oh, oh, okay, okay. And there we go, we got down. Okay. It's easily fixed at least. We just gotta go get one of our party up. At least I have enough coins for it. try one more time and if we fail this time then we'll have to do some training there's a gem looking okay everybody is yeah that should be okay start with all the gin ready to go blast them from the start 
We may have to go through the cutscene again. I can edit that out. Yep. We'll just try to speed through this. I don't think there's any way to cut, through, um, like skip these. Uh, I know sometimes the game, will, uh, a game, will let you jump through cutscenes, but I don't think Gold Sun has ever let us do that. So. out in editing we'll see all right we're almost through okay so maybe maybe that's fine all right I'm hard really fast. Oh, I summoned anyone right away. Okay, I'm gonna have to stay on top of the healing this time. Did that? That might have down Shiva. All right, yep, we're gonna have to do some training. I have no way to revive him. Maybe. It's Briggs who does that. Oh, we beat Briggs. We beat Briggs. Okay, we just got to beat one more. Felix, you're about to miss this whole battle. We might actually manage it.
That'd be really, yes! Oh, the girls just won the battle for us. Okay, awesome. That, that makes me feel pretty good about that. I was a little scared when Felix went down. All right. All right. Oh, oh, that is amazing. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. And I'm willing to bet everybody Briggs has been harassing will be quite happy to hear it. This should be set everything at Andretti's. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We lost. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go on, hand us over to Madra or Ahabra or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell the Madrans that the man called Pierce is innocent. Fine, so I just have to say that Pierce isn't one of my men? That's right. You tell the Madrans that and they can release their prisoner. We've secured Briggs' vow. We should take him to the Madrans. Wait! Can't you find it in your hearts to forgive Briz and his men? And who are you? My name is Chaucha. I am Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate too? No. Chaucha hasn't done a thing. Let her be. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. And I know their crimes could not be ignored. If you know all that, then how can you ask us to just forgive him? The only reason Briggs became his pirate was to help the people of Champa. The Champa are seafaring folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once could. The oceans have warmed and the fish have vanished from the waters. The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops, so you have no grain and no meat. It sounds like Champa's life is hard. It's not hard, it's unbearable. Our children can't eat, our village is dying. These men promised to return with food enough for all of our people, but they found none. So you became pirate thieves? We don't know where Champa is. It sits on the southeast corner of Angara. Southeast Angara isn't that near Zian and Lama Temple. You have a good memory. If you were to head south through the mountains, you'd find it. That's so far away. Well, yeah, we think we could be successful pirates so close to home. If they raided any towns near Champa, it would be obvious to all who the attackers were. And no one back home could forgive me if they knew, not even my grandmother. But where does that leave us? Are we so simply to accept your looting here on Indra? I'm shocked, I tell you, shocked. What is so shocking? It looks like they really are pirates, just like you said. Mr. Mayor, I'm appalled that you could not take our word for it. You probably wouldn't even believe we were from Madra the mayor hadn't come. Am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Is this your position, Mayor? How can I be expected to believe that a tidal wave could wash Indra into Oceana? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Madra all the way to El Havra? Sounds to me like you had forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remembered the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than 10 years ago now. 20 years. It's been 20 years since I last saw you. Has it really been so long? It's been a long time indeed. I guess we can't blame you for forgetting his face. Don't be silly. I don't forget his face. His face merely changed. Um, forgive my interrupting your interruption, but... Would I be correct in assuming I am speaking to the leaders of Madra and Halfra? You are correct, I am the mayor of Madra. And I, and I am... Um...
Oh, look at this exchange. This is interesting. I am the mayor of Alhabra. I am Madras, town elder. And I am a close personal friend of Shin, whose lover was injured by the chopper. <laughs> Just had to throw in two words. I am the scholar Green. He is Felix, the leader of our group. I am Jenna, Felix's sister. And I am called Shiba. I come from the town of Lalavero. Now, what did Aaron has brought to you all here? We came for Briggs, the mayor of Madra claims. We followed Briggs here from Madra. Of course, we have good reason to suspect them of being pirates. <clears throat> and I was honestly taken back to hear such a businessman being slandered. If they truly are pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Because the very funds they used to purchase the ship were pillaged from our homes. If the ship was bought with modern gold, then it belongs to the moderns. What do you say? If you give them the ship, will that fix everything? Then, where will you go? I won't run, and I won't hide. Actually, I don't fill up for much of anything right now. And you probably won't mind being locked up, would you? Briggs? Don't worry, Chao Chao. I'll be back. Take care of Iolio. Your strange powers surprise me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. We'll take, take in that boat then. You're taking our ship. You're worse than we ever were. Aren't you at least going to pay us for the boat? Quiet, all of you. Do as you must, but I have one request. You have to let Chocha and Yolio stay on the boat until it's repaired. You haven't done a for any harm, Briggs. At least keep him locked up until the boat's repaired. And our prisoner appears is he one of your men? I don't know any peers. Sounds to me like you've made a pretty big mistake. See, it's just as I said, Pierce is innocent. You must return to Madra immediately and free him. Me? What? Alone? Only two of us will remain here. You can return to Madra with the others. Understood. We'll return immediately. Can you come with us, please? It looks like that wraps this whole mess up. Let us return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. You say your name is Creighton. Thank you much for the help of Briggs. If you have the time, please come see me at my mansion before you go. It's nothing special, but I would like to thank you for everything you've done. Why do I get the feeling the mayor of Al Hafra prefers to deal with my father over me? Thank you, all of you, very much. Due to your efforts, Pierce is going to be released. And now this fine ship belongs to Madra. None of this would have come to pass were it not for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Oh, pish bosh, we don't need any reward, do we, Felix? No. That may be, but I still feel quite indebted to you. So what shall we do? Idea! I know, come to Madra after the boat's been fixed and we've sailed home. We are still recovering from the effects of the tidal wave, so it won't be much. But we do want to give you some kind of reward. Well, shall we be going?
I see. So. Oh, no, nothing. Never mind. I do get to stay on the boat, right? At least until it's repaired. Yes, that's where I'll be if you need me. With the Oleo. I feel kind of bad for Chocha. What can we do about it? After all, she's the one who married a pirate. So what should we do now? I suggest we try to find Pierre so he can prove enlightening. That's true. He seems to be a water adept. He might be able to tell us a little about these lands. Do you think we should help them fix the boat? Say, if we help with the boat, maybe they'll give us a ride back to Madra. Good idea. What do you say, Felix? Sounds good to me. All right, let's go see what we can do to get this thing sailing again. All right. Well, I'm unconscious. Uh, we'll have to go next time and get myself back to conscious and then see what we can do about fixing the boat and what else we need to do from here. Um, until then, I hope you had fun and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh.